This time I've got two charges for you, uh, the MC2 from XTAR and the XP4C. These are both uh, lithium-ion battery chargers um, and uh, the XP4C will also charge NICADs and uh, nickel metal hydride batteries as well. So uh, they're both quite different. Let's start with the MC2. The MC2 is an entry level charger, it's very affordable, it's uh, £10. Uh, but it's got quite a few cool features, it's really quite compact, nice little unit, it's sort, sort of unit you could take away and travel with if you ever need to charge up lithium ion batteries whilst you travel. So there is the different batteries that you can charge with this thing. So it's uh, your input's five volts. Now, if you plug this into a one amp USB charger, because it does take a, a micro USB cable there, if you plug it into a one amp, it'll split the amps across the two channels. So you'll get um, half an amp here and half an amp in this channel. If you plug it into half an amp USB port, which is basically uh, what you have on your computer you will get a quarter of an amp across both the, both the different channels. So it comes with a nice long USB cable. We quite simply, well, typical USB, you always put it in the right way the first time and then you flip it over and it's the wrong way and the third time. Third time's always a charm. Right, so let's plug this into the USB port on my computer. And let's plug in some 18650s, these are Panasonic cells, these are actually freshly charged so you can see that's uh, not kicked into charging but these will go red uh, when it's uh, charging and it'll uh, go to green when it's finished. So a very simple very basic little charger but it is very 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 compact got the convenience of being able to charge it from a USB and it also comes with a UK plug just there. So for £10 it's basically a bargain. I mean if you want a, a nice introductory charger into the world of lithium batteries and you want to start using um, fancy high powered flashlights this is a good place to start. Okay so that's the MC2. Um, if I missed anything I'll put more details uh, just to show you it also comes with a warranty card and a very small instruction book. Oh, wait, one, one other thing to touch upon, if uh, you're using cells with a protection circuit it will, uh, if you um, run those batteries really low and the protection circuit kicks in this will um, reboot that circuit so you can start charging again. Okay, so the XP4C, now this one um, does far more um, it's got uh, it's got the ability to apparently reset the memory that might be on nickel metal hydrides and uh, nickel cadmium batteries because sometimes you won't get full charge out of them. That's because the uh, yeah you can have what they call a battery memory, so it will help reset that. Now this one comes with a proper plug. It also comes with a 12 volt charger, instructions and warranty card. Again, very much like the other one. I won't plug this in. But very much like the other one, the lights will go red during charging. They'll go green when it's done. Um, if you want to slow charge them, you would plug it into these two channels and then you'll get half an amp charge. Um, or you will plug two batteries into these channels for a one amp charge. And if you have all four bays full, you'll get um, half an amp charge. And if you plug in your nickel metal hydrides and your um, nickel cadmium batteries into here, this uh, this channel will test the batteries, and uh, it will run uh, a, a, it will run a special charge on it to basically help remove any memory that might be on that battery, and then it will give it a full charge. So it's, it's quite a very clever feature-rich charger, it's not expensive. 
all these sliders work really nice and they're not stiff, they're really smooth. It's really easy to get batteries in and out. So I'll just put in some 18650s for you. Now, I'm not going to lie, I, I do use obviously these sort of chargers all the time, but I'm not geeky enough to be able to really go into full detail on these chargers for you. All I can say is I've used them on several charges and uh, they really have. They've done their job. Um, I do have a voltmeter and uh, it's always finished charging the batteries. These uh, lithium ions are the correct voltage as well. Okay, so there's the IntelliCharger um, XP4C from Xtar. A few more features on this one. It's nice, it's a four bay one as well, and you can charge several different types of batteries on it. And there we go. There's not really much else I can say about this. It's There's the different types of batteries you can charge on this thing. So we can, you know, AA size and all the weird and wonderful lithium ion sizes there. Okay, so a bit of a random review this one, but I hope you liked it. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.